Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Just continuing our discussion on the three hour high and low of the session. Uh, expanding on our video last day, just talking about the high and the low and understanding how that can give us some information as we head into each new session if we haven't traded the last session and also potentially uh, how we may benefit from a session if we are positioned near the high or near the low at the open. So we're just looking at today's market, uh, Friday, May 1st. And just to give you an idea, um, the blue box is the first uh, three hours of Asia. The pink box that we're currently in is the three hours of the Europe London session. And each day when I come to the screen, I mark off the high and the low. Now, on our pound Aussie today, this is an example of where they split the box. So we've had uh, an initial high consolidation at numbers, and then they break through that towards the end of that three hours and extend it out to a new high and can remain consolidated above that first box. Now, this is just an example. You're going to see different variations of this. We are in a very strong move on this pair. As I mentioned on the daily levels videos, there are stops up top above 9,500 on the weekly chart. Um, traders may have been uh, looking to try and sell the top here somewhere, but this is an extremely strong trend. And again, uh, not uncommon to see them split the box, but continue that move, whereas some traders would be looking for some kind of reversal pattern up here at 50, uh, where they're trapped trying to short this market, and it's a continuation. And again, it's a measured move, and you can see how it layers on top and continues that strong drive up. Um, but again, this, this breakout level in that first three-hour window, the high and low, uh, was an extended move, which again, they continue to extend out. So whenever you have a situation like this, you don't want to be trying to counter trend that move until you have a definite reversal pattern setting up. Now we look at the pound Canadian, we can see a similar example. They had a consolidation earlier in the session that gave us a micro double bottom and a breakout before giving us a pullback off of the high at the three hour window and then breaking through in with in that next three hour window and extending that out. Now again, another example of a pair in a strong move. If we look at yesterday's move, we can see that three hour window. They gave us a high and a low at the Asia open. They consolidated inside of that range in the next three hours and then heading into the Europe open, they hit the stops on top of the day at the high of the day. Traders that were short had stops up top. They would have hit the high, they hit it again. They sold that off trapping traders, stop hunting traders who were already long, but also trapping traders short and and when you see an aggressive move off the low of the week in one candle like that, uh, obviously that's designed to trap traders who are short on this pin hammer uh, heading into the low on the fourth day uh, of the week. So again, uh, even if we look at the London session high low in the three hour window and we do the same thing, this is obviously a strong trend day, but they took that uh, high out in the next three hours and extended it out heading into the US session, pulled it back, pulled it back. So they've pulled it back and then hit the low of the day in the New York Open with a hammer at numbers at the low of that redrawn box. So again, when you get a strong trend, these are the sort of situations you want to be looking for. One bar stop. And again, in terms of geometry, we talk about measured moves. This is an example of just taking the high and the low or the open or however you want to do it and just measuring I typically will measure at least two times the box well obviously we extended that way out it was a strong day and then this is a, a, a you know typical of an explosive move off the low or high of the week after a consolidation you can get obviously three levels of rise 100 100 and 100 and and now they've extended that out again today we take a look at uh, the pound yen so again we saw that market if we look at yesterday we have a consolidation up near the previous day's high at numbers the next three hours they 
stop hunted the low of the box, they hit it again, they pulled it back and consolidated, and then at the Europe Open, they hit that low one more time. So again, the, the scenario I want you to understand is that first three hours high and low, then the next three hours they were working the low, working the low, pull it back into the London Open, hit the low one more time, inside bar or a small uh, bull handle with a and then a bull hammer beside it, and then there's your double micro double bottom breakout. So again, just high and low, even if we use the US session, so we have a high, and they start to stop hunt the low. They hit it again a second time. When you get that inside bar and then another hit to the low or hit to the high, in the session open on a strong breakout, again high and low. But we go into today's session. We talked about this earlier. They briefly, in the end of the New York session, they pulled it back and then they tried to extend that out to a new high and on a two bar reversal pull it right back in then this morning in the Asian session brought the market up to the high at numbers inside of the US session low or sorry the US session high um, before selling it off okay and then pulling it back so there was our high and our low and I talked about this in the video as well uh, tight consolidation heading into the Europe open this is a ripe target for trapping traders who are buying long or even long from the night before who hadn't yet been, been stopped out. Uh, we'll just drag this over. Stops underneath the US swing traders and then pulling them back. But, but at the end of the Asian session, that next three hour window, they're consolidating pin hammer in the last hour heading into the close of Asia, the Europe Open, they drop it down, pull it back to the numbers, go sideways, inside bar, and now we're currently heading down, uh, possibly as low as stopping out uh, US session traders from Friday night, or sorry, from yesterday, uh, yesterday's session. So again, if we look at the um, pound Swiss, I'll just uh, tighten this up, gain a similar Scenario, they will just squeeze this in. Yesterday, the market to Asia opened up inside of the high and low. Okay, they gave us a high and low. Then in the next three hours, they extended that up in three pushes to the high of the day, to which where there was an engulfment at the previous day's high which sold off through the low of the day to the overall low of the day. And I know not everybody's charts will be the same, but my low of the day was there. They hit it, pulled it back. They hit it one more time at the end of our London 12 candle window with an engulfment and then a pin hammer. So in our next three hour window, they came off the low of the session with price confirmation. Even though it was not it was not at round numbers, 50s or zeros, you'll, if you notice, this was at a quarter level at 25. I mentioned that now some of these pairs have tightened their volatility up and they are trading tighter off of the quarter levels. And that market proceeded to head back and stop hunt traders who were short off the high of the day and followed through right up to the round numbers. Again, the three hour window in New York was a continuation. They painted a high initially, then a low, stop hunted it stop hunted the low and then continued their move back up to the high. Today in the Asian session we had a high painted and then a low where they pulled back but then they continued to work the low, they worked the low, pulled it back, went sideways in the last hour with a pin hammer to stop hunt through yesterday's lows to the double zeros and now have since pulled back and continued in a one, two, three. We could still have a pull back to the round numbers here for a stop hunt back to Asia or they could continue to extend this move down. So just want you to understand that in each session, in that first three hours, they will paint a high and a low. Yesterday's a pound New Zealand. Then in the next three hour window, they can go into consolidation, they can work the high, or they can work the low. And in yesterday's scenario with the pound New Zealand, three days down, fourth day down at the low of Wednesday, they worked the low, they pulled it back. They worked the low one more time, they pulled it back. They worked it a third time, 
pulled it back with a pseudo engulfment, then a breakout on the London Open and a pullback, and an explosive continuation through the high of the day to continue that move through the higher highs of Wednesday. So again, the high and the low of London, they extended it out again in that next three hour window, pulled it back to the round numbers, broke through, gave a new high, and then stop hunted the low one more time on traders that were already long before continuing their move back through the high of the day. Today they gave us a high, a low and a high, then they extended that move out in the next three hour window. They pushed it again, then they stop hunted back on traders that were long in Asia before hitting the high one more time, possibly retesting the lows of that first pullback. Stay disciplined traders, stay focused, and may the markets go with you. Have a great week. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.